Welcome back to Channel Sports this morning. Uh, we're talking about um, Vincent Company uh, making the Belgium squad to the World Cup uh, in Russia despite nursing a uh, growing injury. And Shola, uh, you heard uh, Roberto Martinez uh, uh, speak on the issue. And um, do you? Do you think, are you thinking along those lines? Do you agree it's with what he said? It's a good move. It's a very good move. Some players are too big to be dropped, mm. regardless of if they're going to play on the pitch big or not. Quotes. Yeah, big, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, off air we're talking about yeah. a, a Nigerian example. Okay. Nigeria did it with Steven Keshi, you know, at the and Nations cool. Cup. He probably didn't even kick a single ball, you know. But in being in that team, if you speak to guys who were with him in camp, he did a whole lot for them. You know, and the coach knew what he was doing by taking him along. And he mm -hmm. eventually he got to leave the trophy. So sure. <laughs> you never can tell with company because yeah. he's been in the Belgian yeah. setup for a while. Sometimes. And it's the bridge between the old and the new. And the, and the new. And let's, let's see how they turn out. They have okay. arguably the most talented, talented team. Yeah, yeah, of course. In Absolutely. This Mundial, Absolutely. if you look at individual quality, you're that. talking Idinaza, Romelu, Lukaku, Thibaut Courtois, I could go on, on and the on and That's on. the best goalkeeper uh, in the look, world right now. If Christian Benteke was in Nigeria, was it would be going to the World Cup. Mm, and that's <laughs> where we go as next. As impressive uh, as he is, that's he's not part next. of the squad. Yeah. yeah. And of course, uh, Martinez got some explanation to do concerning that. On the decision of Christian Benteke, and I told him, um, I think he's, he's done everything that he, he could have done in the camp. He's been an impressive figure. I think the performance that he, that he, he showed against Portugal shows you that he's in a good moment. And that's been the toughest decision from a football point of view. The decision is for the balance of the squad, and we want to take two number nines uh, just because of what we're going to need in terms of the of the shape and the balance of the of the squad. Well, it's a very impressive figure, but sometimes not all players can actually go to the World Cup. So they have the luxury of so many players they can afford to drop some. Mitchell Bashai, Roman Lukaku will be the ones that will lead that forward line. So no Christian Betek in the World Cup for you. No surprises yeah. for a lot of people. I mean yeah. he had a very, very Three goals. average <laughs> season. Is that less than average? average. Three thirty one. <laughs> yeah, but goals. um but if there was no uh, Batshuayi yeah. or Lukaku, he would be going to the World mm -hmm. Cup, even if he didn't do well with the country. We've mm -hmm. seen it happen even in England, where their top striker at some point, uh, mm -hmm. I keep forgetting his name now, was not scoring for his club, but he still yeah. got a uh, look in. Because that's you know, who they are. You, so you need to be able Options. to also help your players mm -hmm. get their groove back. You, know? you bring them into camp and you help them. And you show the club, you see. This is what he can okay. do, mm. you know. So at times you need to work uh, on these things, and I'm happy that um, look. You're happy that company is going. Company is going. You know, I'm, I'm happy that uh, Benteke is not going. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to a player that is definitely going to the World Cup, whether injured or I'm not, not, with a leg. He was going to go to the World Cup regardless. Cristiano Ronaldo is back and has joined uh, his uh, teammates uh, in Portugal to train ahead of their. Uh, international friendly against Algeria. Ronaldo was given time off after uh, the Champions, Champions League. League final, but he's back Big now. And what, what, what can they do without this guy? All time top scorer. And uh, when you have someone like this on the team, you've got a chance of winning. I was, I was watching a video of Ronaldo a, a few days before the Champions League final that they played with uh, um, Liverpool. Liverpool. And he says, Look, I'm in the best form of my life. Really? I might be 33 or what's <laughs> yeah, yeah. but I have the body of a 23 year old. Absolutely. You understand? In the mind. You know, it's actually true. It takes you know, care of his, it's of actually his true. You need to see the way he builds yeah. himself, he conditions himself. Like so. If you have this Physical kind of guy condition. in your team, you will take on the world. We saw what they did in Europe <laughs> yeah. because it was basically like a one man team. Yeah. Mm. You know, the only other person that people even could recognize a bit was Nani. Mm. Nani tried to step up a it bit, did, yeah. you know. Okay. But Ronaldo, going to the World Cup with Portugal. Man, it's a plus for them. But the thing is, you know, most of the players that were with him are the Euros. Some of them are not here. So yeah. that's oh. where the problem is going to be. Yeah, it is. But look, it's still Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm expecting a lot from him mm. because he's done well for club and country. And I'm mm. expecting him to continue Fantastic from where he left season. off. 44 goals. Uh, he's not slowing down at all. Portugal, remember, in Group B, in the face of uh, Portugal, uh, will take on Spain, Morocco, and Iran. You expect them to qualify. But you have Spain uh, out of that group, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I mean, those are the two obvious 
uh, <laughs> countries, but Morocco we'll just has yeah, money and on come paper. Back. Morocco will just go there, see and come back. Your Iran, country. same thing also. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know, except, to except something really miraculous and ridiculous happens. Mm -hmm. I don't see Spain again going out the group it's, stage. It's football. No, Portu mm -hmm. I mean, it's Portugal football. going out the group stage. It's, it's football. football. <laughs> <laughs> After Iceland and England, okay, uh, I don't want to in the I don't like doing that. Okay, let's Let's talk about Neymar. Yeah, I mean, three months he was out, but then he's back scoring goals as if he never left. I can never left. I mean, did you watch the game against uh, Croatia? Uh, what I, I a return! Have you seen the goal? I, did, I didn't see the full goal, the the full goal. game, but I've seen the goal. Okay. you know, and I Talk saw that. I saw that the the Croatians were in sixes and sevens, and I was happy. <laughs> I was like, yes, that's it. This what is, do we have a player like Neymar, though? I mean, you know, do you have Nigeria? We've got Iwobi, man. What oh, are you talking yeah, about? Yes, <laughs> he's got, he's got quick feet as well, but uh, not Neymar level. The finishing okay. and all that—that's what you're talking about. That one, I'm joking. Yeah, I don't. Who put the joke aside? Neymar is, I don't know, the kind of guy that you want in your team. Mm. When he got injured, the Brazilians were mourning. Yeah. The nation of Brazil <laughs> went into mourning. Close like, to that. No, are you telling us this guy is not going to go <laughs> to the World Cup? But I'm happy that the club allowed him yeah. go. They just let him go. You know? Back to Brazil. He was even going to become a talk of war because they were like, they were going to play him for another Champions League game. Yeah. And the Brazilian FA was like, no, it we starts, need to assess this guy. We now, need to assess him. And, and that's what he's station. done. It shows you how important yeah. he is to Brazil and how important Brazil is to him. And um, he's back. It's looking good for them. Looking when good. you look at the kind of players that Brazil are not taking to the World Cup also, you mm -hmm. understand why they have a Neymar. Yeah. And you look at the Feminos of Israel and you say, man, Continue. look, I do not pity anybody that's <laughs> coming against them. <laughs> Before this game, he said, he said he was 80%. If, if that's 80%, 80 scoring. I don't want to say 100% Neymar. Precisely. Yeah. If, if what he did His first game. against Croatia was 80% mm -hmm. after being injured for so long. For so long. Three months. 100%? Okay. Yeah. You're against only, Switzerland, Serbia, only, Costa Rica. They need to well, be scared. Especially I'm Switzerland. Worried. Yeah, that's the first game. <laughs> June 17th. <laughs> right. Uh, finally, on the World Cup segment, talking about um, England. Right now, Gareth Southgate, they will be facing Tunisia also mm. and their team. And that's why they played Nigeria. And judging from what they did against Nigeria, what can they do against uh, Tunisia as well the World Cup starts? We'll hear from him now. It's a different um, style of play to Nigeria. Um, they, they keep possession of the ball really well and uh, press very well. So I've been hugely impressed with them. Uh, they're ranked one place with us in, in the rankings. Um, and they're recent, you know, they're, they are a team that are improving. So um, the two games they've had this week have just reiterated what I've seen in their previous matches. I think it's the, again, we've got to be spot on in our preparation and our performance to be able to win.